Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Yes, you read that title correctly, so let's jump right in. And special thanks to Renee Petrillo for sharing this. And before we listen to this, I wanted to mention that I got locked out of my Facebook account and had to make a new one. Facebook would not accept my secondary security code from Google Authenticator. So if we were friends on Facebook and you see that we're not now, it's not because I unfriended you. There's also revealing truth on Facebook that is still active. Yet I can't access it, so forgive me for not replying to the emails you've sent. I do have a friend that is still posting videos on Revealing Truth and helping with questions there though. But with that being said, this is the video we're looking at today. And as you can see, they're the ones that made the title, How to Receive from the Body Parts Room in Heaven. They didn't even spell receive right. Remember, I before E except after C. But the sad thing is that 1,300 people have already given this a thumbs up. Says, I've heard cats say several times that there are body parts in heaven. My question is, how do we pray for these body parts to be given um, to our loved ones and ourselves that need them? And I'm going to add a question to that at the same time. So we just, I'm going to throw in mine with that. And that is, are these, if there's a right arm, is that right arm for Steve one day that's going to need it? Or is that right arm for anyone that's going to need a right arm? How does that work? And how do you pray for... Um, I think Love that whatever place. body parts you are lacking or that aren't working properly, I have seen, I, I didn't know that arms were designated for certain people. However, I was in a service where an angel came down with a gift box and walked through a man who was due for heart surgery. He walked in that man's body and left a new heart in that man's body. Uh, that was a service we had at, at New Life Christian Fellowship where they had like three hours of worship. So this happened at New Life Christian Fellowship. So there should be someone that can confirm this story. Please, someone do the work to confirm that this obviously did not happen. And at the minute after the three hours of worship, there was this big crack and the staircase literally came down from heaven into the, uh, the sanctuary and angels began to run down with all these boxes. Wow. Uh, because at the point I heard this loud crack, nobody else heard the crack but me. Second thing to note is that she's the only one that heard this heavenly crack. So you have to take her word for it. And she's saying that multiple angels were running down with boxes holding body parts. I mean, how many missing body parts were in this service? Um, they always had me sit on the front row with a sketch pad so I could sketch anything I was seeing in the spirit realm. That's a really awesome uh, journal sketch pad I have. Wow. But uh, they, and, and then our pastor said, shout out what you need from Jesus right now. Right now, we've seated the heavenlies with our worship, with our decorations. Right now, yell out what you want. And this man yelled out, I want a new heart. And the angels began running down with all these gift boxes. So your body part comes in a gift box, people. Wow. So right through you with it. And it's put right in the place it needs to be. It will be just the size you need to match the rest of your body. I know that part. I know that happens. And this man uh, gave a testimony and the pastor said, tomorrow night we're having it like a, a, a long testimony service. And the man actually went to the doctor who had just scanned his heart and they scheduled him for the surgery, looked at him and said, where did you get the new heart? You, you couldn't, this could not have happened. I saw your heart. We've got, we've got MRIs and x-rays and no, you don't have this heart in you. And the guy grinned, he said, I got it last night in the church service. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is yet another plea to any Cat Kerr followers to please take a few things into consideration. Number one, don't you think that if that man received a brand new heart and it was actually confirmed by doctors, this miracle would have been in the news? And number two, any teacher that has so many stories that cannot be confirmed and you just have to take their word for it is most likely a liar. If people have regular spiritual experience that aren't supported by scripture as being a regular thing, then you should be very skeptical about that person. And these experiences should always lead us to God's truth, not for us to want to have the same experience or hear another story from this special anointed person. Please watch the videos in the Cat Kerr playlist and ask God for discernment on this lady. I truly believe she is one of the people mentioned in 2 Timothy 3.13. She is herself deceived and is deceiving others. 
We're going to leave it here for today, but feel free to leave your thoughts and comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.